The world of competitive esports is full of peaks and valleys, highs and lows, meteoric rises, and tragic downfalls. Today's champions can become tomorrow's has-beens in the blink of an eye, and promising up-and-comers can fade into obscurity after just one bad season. Sometimes, though, we get to witness an incredible return to glory, like what happened recently when CSGO player Floppy led the once great Cloud9 team to a crushing victory at the IEM World Championship Katowice qualifier. It's important to note that this was technically the 20-year-old American player's first time playing as a member of Cloud9. His team, previously known as ATK, were purchased by C9 mere days before the Katowice qualifier, and the squad could not have hoped for a better debut. Cloud9 exploded out of the gate with a dominant 2-0 victory over Riot Squad, a team the former ATK gang had previously crushed at last year's Pinnacle Cup. Floppy performed well with a solid 39 kills across both games and some valuable assists, but he was just getting started. Like a snowball rolling down a mountain, Floppy picked up the pace in Cloud9's next match against INTZ. One 2-0 shutout and 41 kills later, the shrewd sharpshooter was standing tall in the semi-final match, where he and his comrades would face off with complexity. The rival team had pulled off a double 2-0 of their own, and were looking to settle the evenly paced 2-2 record that complexity in the former ATK had established the season prior. Things were looking dire at first, with Complexity handing Cloud9 their first loss of the tournament with a commanding 16-8 win in the premier match. However, after squeaking out a clutch 16-14 victory in the subsequent game, Floppy was on the warpath. The last round was a decisive 16-3 in Cloud9's favor, due in no small part to Floppy's incredible 21 kills as well as some clutch plays from teammate Modem. It all came down to the Grand Finals versus MIBR who had clawed their way from bottom bracket after a heartbreaking first-round loss to INTZ, who C9 had stomped effortlessly in the very next round. Cloud9 started with a one-round advantage due to coming from the top bracket, but narrowly lost the first map due to an unbelievable performance from MIBR's Fallen. The team managed to rally in the subsequent game, however, with Floppy once again securing the highest kill count on the team, pulling off a brilliant 16-4 comeback. The last match of the tournament would be played on Inferno. It was a nail-biter, with both teams neck and neck as they approached a 12-12 stalemate. In the end, however, C9's combined efforts won the team the last four points they needed to win the game, and, more significantly, secure them a place in the World Championship. Though Cloud9's victory was thanks to the squad formerly known as ATK's excellent teamwork, Floppy's impressive contributions cannot be overlooked. With 27 kills in the final game, he outscored the rest of his teammates nearly by half. His consistent performance was the bedrock upon which the team's success was built and helped lead Cloud9 to its first major tournament win since 2018. For his prowess, Rivalry named Floppy the best performing player in the North American and European closed qualifiers, a title he most certainly earned.